Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is a intro to Let's Play Animalia, where I am speaking at a Shannerian kind of weird random pacing, where I put long words in the space of it. Anyways, this is Spider Industrial. Why is it called Spider Industrial? Because it's vaguely web-shaped. We, in the last episode, put all the roads in. We've also put some of the support stuff in. So we've got eight incinerators to kind of power and support this place with the amount of garbage it's going to produce. We've got four fire stations on each of the main hub spokes. And we've got two hospitals, two police stations. So wandering along here, public transport. We've got a new line in, which ooh, that's the train line, which we should probably colour and name. So it's the Spider Connects. And we are going to colour that one black. Why? Well, because that's the colour of spiders. So we have a black line that connects in to this exchange point on Starfish Shore. So we also put a new metro station in, just to connect it in over here. This doesn't actually have a bus route that connects to it just yet, but that's something I can fix very quickly. Putting a bus route over there. We've also got the brown line. So that purple line is the one that just shunts in and out and goes about. If we were to just tweak that a little bit. We've got these bus stops, these buses just going down these little roads. I might as well just have stops along them just to improve the happiness of my little peeps. They're going to live. So that's the connection line we're tweaking here. It's happiness is a nearby bus stop. You go back and forth over there. Why not? Because I have sorted the water, I must have not unpaused it in the interim. We were still tweaking bus lines just very briefly. Making sure that if we're going to be going down these little roads, we might as well have bus stops on them. So yeah, that's that. Also, see, there's all bus stops along there, bus stop there. So since you've got this road coming along and you're heading out of town, maybe so kind of to briefly stop there and just come in and go past that little extra junction. This will mostly just be uh, probably an internal interchange on the metro network. I'm not expecting a lot of people to have much of a reason to stop there. Just because there just isn't very much actually there. It just happens to be the centre of Starfish Shores. This is probably going to get busy over time, but I'm pretty sure it's got the capacity to hold it. If it turns out that it can't, well, then we'll just deal with it. Right. Bus route internal to here. So, let us... Really? You're going to make me start on that side of the road? Start a line. Yeah, fair enough. Round you go. It's... I can barely see that line. Let's some um, back to my metro line and not let's make that not black, let's make that yellow. Uh, yellow all the way up to yellow. There we go, now I can see it. So we've got a bus route that serves the outside line, so stop here, stop here, stop there, stop there. So yeah, we'll do these kind of in quarters, shall we say. No. Because we have the potential. No, hang on a sec. Let's get rid of you. Let's have you come around on that side. And stop here. Stop there. And there. Did that take? Yes, it did. Stopping there. Stop there and then come back round. Okay, and then we'll start a new line. So you're going around that way. 
the line from here comes out and stops along uh, <coughs> does it? Where should we have it start from? It can start from there and weave my way round. This particular set and come round to stop here. Come back again. It occurs to me that actually having these things stopping directly outside here, bus routes stopping here is just not going to be a very good idea. Because it's just going to absolutely snarl up. A lot of things. No, that's not working. Alright. These were which lines? Bus line 33. Yes. Bus line 34. The one I'm building at the moment comes around to here, joins up. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Connect, so that's that one. So let's name you. You were bus line 34. I'm going to call you Spider Blue, because you are. And I am going to put the rest of the bus lines in the same pattern. So the idea is that the bus routes are just going to weave around inside here. Um, and I'm not going to have any bus routes come across here. So people will just have to walk from there to the nearest bus. It would be a little bit of a track, but it's something I would think I would prefer than having my buses go through this section and cause me an endless amount of trouble the bus is stopping on this side of the road directly in front of my cargo terminal. So I will be right back after I do a scene transition and a whole suite of bus layouts. And there we go. So here's our set of bus routes. One each of these sectors labeled spider blue, spider red, spider green and spider orange. So I'm pretty happy we've got all these bits in. Now it's time to start talking about parks. So Composer, football fields. Football fields. Football field, football field, football field. Somewhere you can just basically kick some time loose in the afternoon. A football field. It's kind of common to want. Sunken Plaza. So basically want a lot of these. Japanese gardens. Not the space, might as well stick them in. Let's put one either side of there. Let's see, what's the largest park we've got? You're huge. Exactly what I want. Space already occupied by my crappy pollution buildings. One there. And one there. They give it nice healthy coverage in the middle. Now, I don't necessarily have enough space for a lot of other ones. What I can do is make sure that they do have parks in on these locations. Let's see. That covers quite a bit. But we do need something down over in the here in the corner. Can we fit an enormous one in? Not quite. Now that's potentially Easily remied with a quick bit of cornering. Oh, yes, I've got the wrong road type selected, which means you are probably going the wrong way. Okay, so we'll drag that stop there to move it, and then rest the loop sorted out. Now, can we fit in 
are in August Park, Park down on the corner. Yes, we can. So you're there, covering that corner. Let's stick on the inside of these corners. Which line was that yet? Our little custom mod sunken plazas. And then we will probably put small picnic plazas in the corner of each of these locations. Like so. Okay, right. Picnic plaza with tables. Make sure we've got plenty of park space in. Let's put one there. There, here, and here. Okay, I am pretty happy. We'll call that a substantial amount of industrial. Parks and plazas, yes, I'm happy with that. Don't really want any, don't need any leisure facilities. Landscaping wise, I'm pretty happy with how you can walk around. The only thing I am going to add is the ability to walk behind this, with that rather scrummy piece of pavement, and let's just bring a bit of paving which just goes all the way across there. Just make that a nice little bit more interesting. Right, let's start zoning. We want industrial I want my marquee tool to do all of it. Now we were talking about putting some heavy commercial in to basically give these guys somewhere to eat at various points. So let us... That's the paint tool, isn't it? Yep. Double click. That's on the wrong road. Anything on... One of these uh, that you just can't get zoned. Anything that's directly and definitively attached to one of our spoke roads, we will make high density commercial. And I am just going to dezone partially these ones. Because I don't want anyone having any industry or business on there. We're going to be looking for a bit more of these. Yep, you're definitely attached to it. You're on that road. Just to give our workers a few more locations where they can shop, basically. Because by giving them the ability to actually go somewhere and buy food during the day, it'll make life just that little bit nicer for them. And these shopping malls will fill up pretty quickly with demand. Do I want to have any offices? Yeah, let's make the interior section. Offices. I will design that bit. Now I am thinking actually, we do one of the things I have noticed that we have a demand for university students. And something I have come across in various cases is you could have a residential university and let's have an industrial university. You are large. Let's put you Do you fit? If it wasn't for the incinerator, you would fit. Let's just swing you around and put you there. So that should resolve our industrial R thing. You will get students who are industrial. So you will become Spider College of Industry. You are the heart of our industrial zone. 
classes skipped was a thing I saw listed on there. So if I go back to our main industry. Doesn't quite fit, I'm afraid. Yeah. You are. Monkey. This is on the, let's just call you Marmoset College. Spider Industrial. Right. Speed on. Instantly we've got a lot of people coming in. We are undoubtedly going to have a whole variety of power problems for a bit before people properly connect up. These will resolve themselves in time. Immediately got a vast numbers of police cars and emergency services and dustbin lorries streaming out and heading to work. Where are you going? Spawned quite quickly. Okay, fair enough. Just over time. This lot will indeed go. Alright, so when it said high industrial demand, it didn't necessarily mean that high because the small amount of buildings we've got gone in already have already completely crushed by demand. Um, let's just keep plugging some of these in and connect the power up a little bit. Get rid of these power lines later when we're less iron sets connected up. This hasn't quite connected up yet. Over there, the building next to it. Now it's not running power over here. Yep, so as that grows and fills in, we should be good. There's our University of Mines, absolutely fine. Quite a few students already. Hordes of trucks already making their way in. Now I am interested to see I've got a bus line that goes down the middle there? No I don't, I do have buses that are making their way to their route Yeah, what I'm interested in seeing is um, how much traffic is possibly coming off the motorway and heading to this station. San Rico, that's not, that's an external run, obviously. New building, yes, four way metro station, thank you very much. And I do have people coming out on this metro station and using the park. A medical clinic. Sioux Chief Manufacturing Alliance. Park is maxed out. You got your education sorted out. Health, fire, police. You are nearly ready to level up. Yes, I'll just click this and click that, and hopefully you'll figure out that I've seen these. Thank you. Buildings are dinging in. People are complaining about a lack of workers. Slowly but surely, this is sorting itself out. People go to work, get on my buses, get on my trucks. Clicking. Yes, done. Thank you very much. Alright, so there we go. That's Spider Industrial. You can hear by the dinging and all the rest of the noises. It appears to be getting in quite well. I mean, this like it's going to be polluting. It's going to be a really unpleasant place to be, but I'm reasonably happy that this should 
suffice to reduce all our industrial months for quite a while. It's simply a case of waiting for this. Hopefully, to get, we get some more, more things in. I wonder what we're going to put in over here. I wonder what we will put in this little space. I think come later on. Which crossroads and trains are too close to each other? Those two. Well, I don't care. <laughs> yes, you pointed out that they are a bit close to each other, but it's not it's an immediate problem. People skipping between locations. I wonder. We have to walk round. You hear the plane land? You're a slit road, aren't you? Yeah. Where's my parks and wrecks? There we go. Now you can go that way when you want to walk. These buildings will sort themselves out in a bit when more demand occurs. Planes! Apparently, it does education. Interesting. Looks like this little window here is afraid, unfortunately, bugged out. One of my mods, possibly the mod that gives you all of this bit, is causing me some problems. Cargo. Okay. Elementary. This is burnt down. Ooh, I don't care. Just quickly check. Oh, do I have any other immediately pressing demands that need to be dealt with? High school availability, apparently. So I've got high schools there, high schools on there, several in there, two in here. Apparently, I only really need. It's a capacity, and it's a thousand. We really, really need one more. So let's put it. There. Done. I think I might, just for my own personal amusement, put an antenna there. <laughs> yes, so a little bug has kicked in there. So, yes. Overall, we've got fair amount of new industrial capacity. Alright, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset. This has been a Let's Play of City Skylines. We've finished building our large new great big industrial area, which so far, traffic-wise, doesn't appear to have snarled up too badly. We'll have to wait and see how it comes and goes over time. There's a half-decent chance that this entire section will just become one enormous trouble zone. But we'll have to wait and see. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.